What's up everyone, so today we're going to be going over how to create loopback interfaces on Juniper switches as well as configure single area OSPF. So first off, let's see what we're dealing with here. So we have two switches connected and this will have a loopback and this one will have a loopback that we need to set. The interface in the middle will be um, 10.0.0.0 slash 24 with switch 1 have an IP of dot 1 and switch 2 have an IP of dot 2. The loopback will be 1.1.1.1 slash 32 and switch 2 will be 2.222 slash 32. So what we want to do is we want it to make it so that switch 1 can reach switch 2's loopback via OSPF. I mean we could do it a different way with uh, static routing or RIP but in this video we're going to be focusing on the basic configuration of OSPF just to get it up and working and the differences between this and Cisco. So to start off with we want to, to configure our interfaces. I already have the um, physical ports configured. So we do show interfaces first. You can see that GE000 is has an IP address of 10.0.0.1 and the other switch has dot two. So if we go to configure, we want to first edit the loopback interface. So let's go under edit interfaces loopback unit zero. Then we want to set family inet, which is IPv4 address and then we'll say 1.1.1.1 slash 32. Let's go up one and then we'll do show and there is our IP address. So the a weird thing about Juniper is all the loopback addresses will be loopback 0 but then you can uh, configure multiple units underneath the logical interfaces. It's not like Cisco where you can say loopback 5, 10, whatever but alright so if we go to the top do show compare you can see that we add the loopback with an IP address so let's do commit comment All right so that's switch one let's go to switch two now and we want to do the same thing so if we go under set interfaces loopback unit 0 family IPv4 address 2.2.2.2 slash 32 and do commit alright so now if we go back to operational mode do show interfaces terse match 2.2.2.2 you can see that it is up all right so should we be able to ping the loopback of switch one right now let's see oh we cannot because we don't have a route so well first off what I did here was say rapid after the ping which turns it into the like the Cisco version of ping so if we go to ping 10.0.0.1 you can see that it's exclamation points instead of the normal the whole the line line by line so alright so now that we did that do show route you can see that we don't have a route to 1.1.1.1 we do have a route to 2.2.2.2 because it's local so how do we get 1.1.1.1 or four ones installed in our routing table. So we're going to configure OSPF. So let's go under configure again. And for this, we're going to say edit protocols OSPF. So in Juniper, you have to set it by the interface. It's not like um, Cisco where you can say network, whatever, under the uh, global OSPF uh, configuration. So if we say set question mark you can see you can see that 
we have uh, a few options under the OSPF uh, configuration hierarchy. And what we want to do to set the interface to the area is say area. So we'll say set area to zero. Then we'll say interface. And then we want the interface that we want to assign to it, which it will be GE000, which is connected to the other switch, and loopback zero, which is the logical uh, interface. So we'll say set area zero interface GE000. And then we'll say loopback zero. All right. So if we do a show, well, let's do show pro calls OSPF. That is our basic configuration for OSPF. So if we do commit, and we say show pro calls OSPF, pipe display set. We just want to copy this and put it on the other switch because it's the same number, the same interface numbers. Let's go back to this one. Already in configure, so we just have to say set. All right, do show compare. And there is our configuration. Commit and quit. All right. So how do we verify? So do show OSP OSPF, and then we have some options. It's pretty much the same as Cisco for verification. So we do show OSPF interface. We can see the interfaces that it's enabled on, and the current state. So if we do show OSPF neighbors, we can see the neighbor relationship. So you can see here. This is the interfaces that it's enabled on, and this is the neighbors that it has found. So we do show route now. Say OSPF. Sorry. Show route protocol OSPF. You can see that we have the neighbor's loopback address in the routing table now. Do show route. Since this is directly connected, that's why it didn't come up with OSPF. And then we have 2.2.2.2, which is our neighbor's loopback. So now if we do ping 2.2.2.2 rapid, you can see that we can now reach it. So that is the basic configuration of OSPF. In future videos, I'll go into more detail on um, authentication and some other aspects, uh, multi-area uh, filtering and so on. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.